Ubisoft reveals a brand new Battle Royale game, and Crucible is going back into closed beta. All that and more, my name is Ethos, and this is Free to Play Weekly. First off in the news this week, over the weekend it was America's birthday, so it only made sense that Captain America might show up in Fortnite. The first Avenger is now currently available in Fortnite's game shop, or rather, right now, all players can pick up Cap's outfit along with his pickaxe in the form of his shield and back bling. There's also a Grand Salute emote, which also involves a lot of fireworks. You can see this emote in action on the Fortnite website. A new high fashion crossover event is taking place in Fantasy Star Online 2 starting now until July 28th. During this period of time, players will be able to obtain outfits worn by their favorite adventurers in Konosuba, God's Blessing on a Wonderful World, Legend of the Crimson. These outfits are featured in the latest AC Scratch Ticket collection titled Bless World. Multiple types of tickets are available based off of what currency players are using to purchase them. AC, or Arcs Cash, or tickets offer players a chance to get their hands on some Konosuba-themed outfits, accessories, and even consumables. Each ticket costs 200 AC. There's a lot of outfits and accessories to obtain, so get ready to spend that currency. The wait is finally getting down towards the end of those who have been wanting to get your hands on Genshin Impact, the upcoming MMORPG by Miyo Ho. A worldwide closed beta for the PS4 version of the game started on July the 2nd at 7 a.m. EST. If you are selected to participate in the closed beta, you can start your download now. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the game, the game site gives you a rundown of what you can expect from the story front from Genshin's Impact. And it seems to be a, basically a brand new open world action title set in a fantasy land called Teyvat. You'll be playing as the Traveler, who braves this brand new world only to be deprived of their power and more importantly, their only kin. With scarce knowledge of this mysterious realm, in order to unveil the riddles of this enigmatic world and achieve the ultimate goal in reuniting with your kin, you set off on a journey across the foreign land with only your companion, the cute and kind-hearted Paimon. This game offers multiple voiceover options for those of you who prefer the use of the Japanese voiceover with no problem whatsoever. And if you were lucky enough, MMO Bomb did in fact stream this game live on their Twitch channel on July the 2nd, so if you missed it, you can still go over there and check the stream out. It's no secret that Amazon Games has been having a rough time with the launch of Crucible, with lackluster gameplay, no chat, voice or text support, and multiple modes that, in our experience, just were not fun, the team behind the game has already started to lay out a roadmap for the future. This roadmap includes removing multiple game modes, a focus on Heart of the Hives mode, and implementation of chat along with other game improvements. Last week though, the team took a rather unexpected step towards achieving those goals. In short, Crucible will be reverting backwards into being in a closed beta state. If you're currently playing the game, not much is actually changing for you. The Battle Pass will still be supported, you'll still get your progression, and you'll still access the game via Steam without any new download. You can still stream, do videos, produce content as you wish, and the game will continue to be available 24-7. Now whether or not this actually helps the game as the player count slowly starts to drop more and more and more it still remains to be seen, but this step we haven't really seen before, so maybe this is the wake-up call that the game needs in order for it to get back on the right track. We'll keep our eye on it, and we'll see what progress they have for Crucible in the future. And out of nowhere, Ubisoft revealed a brand new Battle Royale game called Hyperscape, and it is a free-to-play sci-fi shooter set in a futuristic virtual city called Neo Arcadia. It takes place again in this virtual reality city where you have to find weapons and abilities to fight and become the last team standing, or claim the crown and hold it for 45 seconds after the map has shrunk down to a single sector. Now, of course, none of this sounds too original, but there are some twists that Hyperscape does do to allow it to stand out and not just be another copy of the Battle Royale formula. These things include, one, the abilities known as hacks, which any player can obtain by finding them throughout the world. This means it's not class-based, it's instead like cosmetics similar to Fortnite and all the abilities you actually pick up while you just run around and you play the game. There's a couple cool, really unique abilities as well. A wall, which is very similar to Fortnite, which lets you make this big wall that can help you basically protect yourself from people trying to attack you from long range. A slam that turns you into a superhero as you jump high up in the air and then slam down on the ground below you, dealing damage. A ball that literally turns you into a bouncy ball. And armor, which makes you invulnerable for a few seconds. There's also healing abilities and invisibility and a bunch of different weapons that you can usually expect from most games and a few pretty unique ones in the form of a auto aim pistol and a bunch of cool grenade launchers. Another really cool unique feature about this game is the brand new echo mechanic, which allows players who die early in the game to still have the ability to contribute to their team. When a player dies, they turn into a ghost where no one but their teammates can actually see them, but they can spot other teammates for their friends. This creates a brand new type of loop that allows them to collect intel for their allies of where enemies currently are. Another cool mechanic is the respawn mechanic. 
No more is there a requirement to go to a specific location on the map. Instead, all you need to do is eliminate an enemy and your teammate can rise on their death spot. It's actually a pretty cool mechanic and hasn't been seen before with any Battle Royale. Another really unique thing is its Twitch integration, which allows viewers to actually vote on limited time events that actually happen as the games play out. This can be things like infinite ammo, revealing everybody on the map, a supply crate, low gravity, triple jump, and a bunch more. And overall, the presentation of the game is superb. The graphics and the sound are of AAA quality, and there's a bunch of really cool effects that really enhance the experience, and the movement is top notch, being one of the fastest, if not the fastest, Battle Royale game. All in all, it looks like Hyperscape has gotten a very positive reception. And though it will not be for everybody, it does hit that little niche that has not yet been capitalized yet by other Battle Royale games. For now, the only way that you can get into the game is by viewing streams of players who have drops enabled, so kind of similar to the Valorant situation. However, one thing to note is from my experience, it seems that drops are happening at a way faster pace than what happened with Valorant. According to previous reports, it looks like the game's full launch is coming sometime around July the 12th, so you only need to wait a little bit longer if you can't get access now to get your hands on this game and try it out. Right now, the technical tests are only happening for PC, but console is on the way in the near future. And that moves us to the question of the week. With Ubisoft announcing a brand new BR game, for those of you who've actually played it or have watched it, let me know what you think about the game in the comment section below. Like I said, I was able to play the game early and I really like it and while it's a little rough around the edges, currently it's probably my favorite Battle Royale game. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And that's it for this week's Free to Play Weekly. Don't forget to check out MMOBomb.com for giveaways and the latest news. My name is Ethos and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out everyone.